Hello everyone, welcome back to another Android application development tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to create a settings page for your application. So for creating settings page, there is no need to use any view widgets. Instead, you can use the preferences API available in Android framework. So here, a simple example of settings page. So here, each settings item is created using objects of preferences class, not by using view widgets. Okay, so on the first video of this preferences tutorial series, I'm going to show you how to create a simple settings page using preferences objects. So here I already create an Android Studio project that contain only one activity, that is the main activity. So from this project, I remove the default action bar instead of action bar. Here I place a toolbar. So I run the project now. So here is the project. So this is the main activity. Here we have the toolbar. Here we have an overflow menu. So here we have some options, menu items are available. So when you select the settings option, we have to display another activity that contain the application settings. So by using preferences API, you can create the settings page in two ways. First option by using a preferences activity. And second option is by using a preference fragment. The recommended way is to using a preference fragment. If you working for Android version 3.0 and lower, you have to use the preferences activity. And if your application support start from 3.0 and above, you can use preference fragment. So here I'm going to show you how to create the settings page using preferences fragment. Okay. So first I'm going to create another activity for display the application settings. Uh, I need an empty activity. I simply name it as settings activity. So now the activity is created. So here the root is a constrained layout. I'll remove that one into linear layout. Specify orientation. Uh, first I'm going to add the toolbar. Go to settings activity create variables for toolbar now initialize that variable it is a toolbar now set this toolbar as the default action bar okay also, I'm going to set some title on the toolbar. So, get support action bar dot set title. Here it is settings. Okay. So, when user select the settings menu, settings menu, we have to start the newly created activity. So, open main activity. Here, our right one method called the on options item selected. Here I use some switch case statement to identify the item with item ID action settings. In that case, we are going to start the newly created activity. Settings activity plus and return true. In the default it is implement the super class implementation of this method okay so test that one uh, 
okay now i select settings it will go to the settings activity so now we can create the settings page using preferences api so before going to create the preferences settings layout um, i need some string resources so open strings.xml so here i'm going to place some string resources so here i add some string resource called the sync preference sync preference summary uh, preference sync connection type sync connection type dialog title default value uh, sync connection type summary and here i add another two string arrays called uh, sync connection type entries uh, sync connection type values so here the entries are wi-fi mobile data wi-fi or mobile data values also the same okay so now we can create the layout for the settings so i create a new layout file i create a new android resource file so you can uh, name the layout file in any name as you wish but probably everyone will name it as preferences and this is uh, this file need to be in a folder called the xml uh, under the resource folder so change the resource type into xml and here the root element must be a preference screen so here there is a new folder is created under the resource folder called xml that contain the settings page called the preferences.xml so if you're using preferences api the settings page is created not by using view widgets instead each settings page is each settings item is created using objects of subclasses of preference class so here i'm going to add two settings item first one is a checkbox preference this is a subclass of preference preferences class so now i'm going to specify the attributes for this item first one is key i name it as brief sync so if you're using the preferences api each user settings is saved by using the default shared preferences file associated with each of the application so here each settings is saved in the form of a key value pair in the shared preferences file so here key indicate a key in one of the key value pair available in shared preferences okay now we can specify another attribute title i name it i skip title from the string slot xml sync preference now we can specify summary summary for the settings here it is sync preference summary yes okay now we have to specify the default value for the settings so we have specify the default value in the group so here we have a checkbox preference this is not a view with guess instead this is an object of preferences api preferences class okay so now here I'm going to do another settings item is a list. It's a list preference. A list preference will display a dialog when user select it. Here also the same thing. First we have to specify a key for it. Uh, I name it as preference uh, sync connection type. now we have to specify title for it reference connection title okay now we can specify the entries and this means data on the dialog a list on the dialog so here we have to get the array 
preference connection type values uh, connection type entries now we have to specify the entry values values okay now we have to specify the default value uh, here get the default value from the strings.xml sim connection default value uh, now we can specify the summary okay so here in the settings page we have two settings item first one is a checkbox preference and second one is a list preference okay so here we are going to display the settings using preference fragment so now I'm going to create a class for the preference fragment uh, I name it as settings settings fragment and this fragment need to extends preference fragment so now we need to connect the layout settings layout and to this fragment for that you have to create you have to override the uh, on create method so inside on create method you have to call the method called uh, add preference from a resource so r root xml and our layout is preferences that's it so now here we successfully create the preference fragment okay now we need to add this pre preference fragment to the settings activity so open settings activity so check out some check some condition we find the viewpoint id and root id fragment container we have to check it out uh, layout activity settings yeah we have to add a container for the fragment I add a frame layout with this much parent now specify an id for it fragment container okay so now go to settings activity if it is find view by id or dot id is it is fragment container not equal to null now check if saved instance state not equal to null in that case in blue return otherwise we can load the fragment so get fragment manager uh, begin transaction and r dot id dot fragment container new settings fragment and commit the transaction okay that's it so now we can test the project so i run the project okay so now we can open the settings settings page open settings page and here we have <coughs> the settings page that contain two settings item first one is a checkbox preference and second one is a list preference so if the user select the list preference it will display a dialog with some item so the user can select items okay and here if I disable the sync option we have to disable this one also because this one and there is no need of the uh, sync connection type if the user disable sync that is the uh, next portion so go to the settings page preferences.xml so we have to connect the list preference with the checkbox preference so you can simply achieve by using the dependency attribute so and for it use the dependency so you have to use the key uh, 
preference sync so now the list uh, list uh, list preference is dependent with the checkbox preference if the user disable the checkbox it will disable the list preference also okay we can check it out so run the project uh, open settings so here i enable it so when i enable the sync option sync option it enable the uh, list preference also when i disable it it will disable the list preference so this is how we create a simple settings page using the preferences api so in the next videos we are going to learn about how to create a settings group uh, how uh, how to uh, read how to set the default values how to read the settings uh, how to uh, listen for the settings change etc so for getting more android tutorial updates please subscribe this channel now thank you for watching see you in the next episode